Hi, um, this is Mani, Solution Engineer at PICA 8. Um, so in this video, we will go through various NAC troubleshooting commands. So before you test um, different NAC use cases, uh, you want to check the connectivity between PICO switch and the NAC server. So you can do so by running this command, run show dot one X server. So when I run that, you see it is reachable. So what this means, there is a communication between the switch uh, from the dot one X process module to the I server, um, and uh, it is reachable, which means the shared key that is configured in the switch, as well as the one that is configured on the uh, on the I server, they match, and uh, the communication is encrypted, and we establish the co connection. So, so this is the first step you want to do before you do user and uh, device authentications. So the second command that uh, will be more useful is you know, you want to show the authentication and authorization status of all interface, so you run this command. So here you see three ports that are used, 23, 24, 25. Um, 802.1x is enabled, as well as MAP is enabled on all of them. Web authentication is disabled. Multiple host mode, meaning uh, you can have laptop connected behind a phone connected to a single port. You have the client uh, Mac and uh, authorized. So, uh, you know, all these three ports are authorized. So this is where you get the global view of, um, you know, different client authorization on, um, on various ports. So the next one, say you only are interested in looking at the dot one next. Uh, configuration, you can run this command. So, you know, this only shows me dot one X specific configuration. Um, so if I'm not sure what I configured, I can run this command. Um, so the next one we are going to look at is um, VLANs because we dynamically assign VLAN to employees, guests, stuff like that. Um, so to check whether a particular port is um, assigned. So in this case, the corporate network VLAN 10, you can see 23, 24, 25 is assigned. So whatever you configure in ICE to check whether that VLAN is assigned, you will run, run show VLANs and um, optionally you can give the uh, number of ID of the VLAN. So the next one, you can check the dynamic ACLs that uh, you have configured on the ICE. So this is the command. You will do a run, show dot on X dynamic filter. And I chose one of the filters that I configured on the switch. And uh, ICE is pushing this name dynamically from the, you know, from the I server. So this gives all the sequence, um, sequence and rule of that ACL, um, you know, certain destination forward, um, you know, certain, des you know, enter this network is this card and you see packet count of, you know, 630. Uh, also it shows which port uh, this ACL is assigned to. So ICE has pushed this ACL to port to 23 and 24. That's where it's applied um, for clients. So this is how you look at dynamic ACL. Say something you are able to reach, something you are not able to reach, you would come to this um, command to look at whether the packet count is increasing when you're trying to reach, um, that type of thing. Similarly, for the downloadable ACL, there is a different command. So we are going to run that. So 
this shows the downloadable ACL. So there is a name, it's applied to port 25. This is the client Mac, uh, this is the ACL rule uh, and the packet counter. If you have more than one downloadable filter, it'll show in here. So let us go to the next one. Um, the next one is on web proxy uh, process, mainly for CWA. If you want to know whether the proxy process is running, this is the command you run. Currently, I'm not running the CWA, so I'm not going to check that. The last but not least, uh, you want to troubleshoot, like look into the packets when some communication or authentication is going wrong. Um, you can enable set protocols, dot on X, chase option, flag all, disable false, uh, so it will keep uh, all in the log, and you will be able to see the log by using this command. I took a long one. Uh, So here, you know, show log, last row is 100, and I'm looking for all that on So you can see the communication between the switch and I server on, you know, request and response kind of thing. And whenever you don't need it, you can turn off the trace options. Um, so that's what I want to cover in, in this session.